Well, Mercedes-Benz Stadium was busy this past weekend with over 140,000 fans coming through the doors for the SEC Championship on Saturday and the Falcons game on Sunday. Now, the most action might have been when no fans were even watching. Our Justin Felder has this pretty cool exclusive story. And the clock hits zero, and Georgia is your 2022 SEC football champions. And still perfect at 13-0. When the clock hits zero, the countdown begins. If you're going to work all night, you might as well have a pretty cool event tied to it. It's kind of like a, a big puzzle, putting all the pieces together. It is 8.18 p.m., about half an hour after the end of the SEC championship game. Got the confetti on the field. People are already at work, and we are already late. About 30 times a year, Mercedes-Benz Stadium crew works through the night to get the place ready for an event the next day. We'll see how we do our great work. But only five or six times a year do they go from one major event to another. The about annual turnaround from SEC Championship to Falcons home game is one of them, and it takes an SEC speed sprint. 8.45 p.m., cleaning the field. End zones, logos, they got to go, as do the hash marks, the coaches boxes and more we've got some new folks on the staff and I, and I said tonight you don't stay a rookie a long time around here because you're just you're going to jump right in and start flipping the build it's pretty amazing what we do there's an art to this big machines work quick but can wear out the turf and don't get them started on the confetti i'm not a fan of confetti we limit the type of confetti that comes in the building to us it drives us nuts because it just kind of breaks down and gets caught in the rubber it takes a couple hours to clean then it's got to dry so let's head to the stands 9.30 p.m. It'll take about four hours to pick up all the trash. That's followed by pressure washing. About 300 people total are working through the night, cleaning up after fans and the teams. 10.30 p.m. or so, the kitchen is down to dishes and a little dancing. Why not? Coming up on 11 o'clock, this immaculate locker room we're sitting in was Georgia's a few hours ago. The cigar smoke cleared out, all remnants of a celebration gone, and in three or four hours, the Pittsburgh Steelers will move in here. Clean, clean, clean everywhere you look, unless you know where to look. Official name is the Resource Recovery Room, and it starts working around halftime Saturday. This pile won't be gone until midday Tuesday. It takes 24 7 work after a weekend like this. That's because the waste is sorted into recycling, things that can be composted, and trashed, part of the Benz's sustainability efforts. It is now officially Sunday, and the NFL field is starting to take shape. Right now, the crew working on the field is getting a midnight dinner break. A little after 1 a.m., it's starting to look good. You'll notice they work in sections so they can work on the areas that are dry from earlier cleaning. Got to be done and out of the way by around 5 a.m., so there's time to dry before the NFL teams start setting up their benches. 5 a.m. is also when the maintenance crew shows up. In case any rowdy college football fans, I don't know, jumped on a seat and broke it or something, but they never do that. Work keeps rolling through the night. Some staff use bikes to carry equipment and save steps. It's a big place. The sun is up. We're still about three hours away from kickoff of the Falcons game. I went home, got a few hours of sleep. I don't want to say that too loud because not everyone was so lucky, but uh, I'm hungry. You hungry? Kitchen's been cranking since 4 a.m. and they've been prepping food for an entire week to get ready. This is what I love. These types of weekends, from an outsider perspective looking in, you look at it and, and you just think there's no chance we could pull this off, and we do every single time. It's not just cooking, it's a logistics puzzle. So we essentially have a chronological order of when each event needs to be fired. 10 a.m., the concession stands, which operate like many restaurants, they're about ready to open. You got staff meetings in the Congress course finishing touches take a deep breath and here come the Falcons all right the Falcons game ended about half an hour ago so one 24-hour period two mega events and all that hard work going into getting this place ready then getting it ready again and maybe the best evidence of all that hard work by all those people is that for most of us we'd never know about it unless somebody showed you at Mercedes-Benz Stadium I'm Justin Felder Fox 5 Sports
Well, first off, that was amazing. Vic amazing. Prieto, who shot all that, and obviously Justin, who did that, did an outstanding job. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, the people at the Mercy Stadium have to do it again with October 31st oh, at the Peach Bowl. Gosh. But this game is at 8 o'clock, so they have four less hours to get it done.